Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the buyers and sellers second caper slash mini quest Lost Her Marvels. Uh, this can be accessed um, and completed once you've completed the first caper um, from Tiny Acorns and obviously the original buyers and sellers quest. Um, both of those I have links for in the description below if you need to complete them before starting this one. So anyways, to complete this second cape you need the following requirements, as I just said you need to complete the buyers and sellers quest and you also must have completed the from tiny acorns mini quest slash caper and you will also need the level 41 thieving. Now there are no actual required items, however there are a few recommended items that you can use uh, which will help uh, during this mini quest as there will be a lot of pickpocketing involved. Um, so if you have access to the Gloves of Silence that improves your uh, pickpocketing rate and also the Ardone Cloak as well. Um, but other than that there's no other items really that will help uh, with pickpocketing, it's literally going to be down to your level and uh, luck of course. Anyways, that's it for the requirements and items. Now on to the mini quest starting point. So it's going to be the same place as the uh, previous uh, quest, which is by going to the Thieves Guild and speaking to Darren Lightfinger. And obviously the Thieves Guild can be accessed in the cellar, uh, which is just outside the house north of the Lumridge Furnace. So we're going to head there now. So once inside, you want to speak to Darren to start the second caper, and he will ask you to find flame fragments, pieces of solidified fire that were created when a magi uh, magician had a serious mishap and blew herself up. Don't know how you do that. Uh, and basically, various NPCs will be carrying these flame fragments, and you need to pickpocket them to retrieve them. And there are nine different types of NPCs that can be pickpocketed: uh, citizens, which are just men and women; uh, farmers, master farmers; hand members; warriors; uh, Alcarid warriors and warrior women, even ones of those; uh, guards, rogues, and cave goblins. Each NPC group can give up to 6 fragments and a total of 32 fragments are needed to complete the uh, caper. So obviously you've got 5 sets of 6 and then 1 set of 2. So what I'm going to do is give you the order I would recommend in obtaining them all, um, and that should save a little bit of time. Like I said, this all turns, uh, this is all down to luck. It might take you a while to pickpocket all the flame fragments from certain groups, and obviously you, if you uh, fail like a normal pickpocket, then you will be stunned temporarily. So it all depends on your thieving level and luck. And like I said, if you do have the Ardone Cloak and Gloves and Silence, that will help dramatically. So what we're going to do first is exit the trapdoor and what we need to do is pickpocket the nearby men and women which are just north of the castle. Um, now if you go in this nearby house here and go upstairs you should see a man and woman inside and you should be able to pickpocket them for the uh, fragments. Now you can keep pickpocketing the same NPC for all six fragments, it doesn't have to be different ones, um, which I did test, um, so just worry about pickpocketing the same one, don't worry about having to keep going and trying different ones. Uh, and like I said it's all randomised, you could pickpocket them uh, in a row straight away or you might have to pickpocket them over a hundred times it, it's no sort of order for it either way keep pickpocketing uh, the nearby men and women until you obtain six flame fragments so once you have six flame fragments, what we're going to do is head to the ham hideout. So what you need to do to get there is cross over the nearby bridge and then you should see a abandoned sort of mine entrance with a trapdoor and you should be able to pick the lock on the entrance to gain access to the ham hideout. And you need to pickpocket the ham members in here to get another six flame fragments. Now while pickpocketing there is a chance that you can get caught and be imprisoned or chucked out of the dungeon. Obviously if you're chucked out you just need to get back inside. If you're imprisoned um, you just need to get out of the jail cell like you should observe me doing uh, in this video clip here. You'll probably also get a lot of other different junk as well while pickpocketing the ham members. The only things I would recommend keeping are any parts of the ham clothing as that can sell for a fair bit on the ground exchange as that's needed for some quests. Um, so once you've obtained the six flame fragments we now need to go uh, to the Lumbridge windmill um, as there's some farmers there that we're going to pickpocket from next. Quickest way to get there is if you teleport to the Drainer Village Lodestone via the Lodestone network and then head northeast from there until you get to the cow enclosure. Once you're inside you should see the farmers walking around and again you want to keep pickpocketing them until you obtain six more flame fragments. <laughs> 
So once you've obtained six flame fragments from the farmers, we now need to steal another six flame fragments from the master farmers. Now the easiest one to find is if you teleport back to Drainer Village uh, and go near where the pig pen is, you should see one of the master farmers there. Or alternatively, you can go to the Ardone Lodestone and there's a master farmer heading around there as well, but it doesn't really make a difference. Either way, once you're near the Master Farmer, again you want to keep pickpocketing them until you obtain six flame fragments. And you also obtain a load of different seeds as well. Some of them might be worth keeping as they do drop some good herb ones. So once you've done that, we now need to head to Varrock. So we're going to teleport to the Varrock Lodestone via the Lodestone Network. Once there, we're going to keep heading north until we get to Varrock Castle, and in the courtyard you'll see a load of guards around, and you want to keep pickpocketing them until you obtain six flame fragments. And again, once you've obtained the six flame fragments from them, we only need two fra uh, flame fragments to finish. Now, if you go inside the main castle and go to the sort of northwest corner, you should see some warrior women walking around, and you want to pickpocket them until you obtain two flame fragments, as that uh, brings us to a total of 32. So once you've obtained all 32 flame fragments, you want to return to Darren Lightfinger to finish the caper. So once you're back in the Thieves Guild, what you need to do is talk to Darren Lightfinger and he'll take 8 flame fragments from you at a time and it will tell you for each 8 to claim a reward from Chief Thief Robin, which the uh, rewards vary uh, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but Robin is located just near Darren. And basically what you need to do is keep doing this until you've uh, handed over all 32 uh, flame fragments and have obviously claimed all the rewards from Robin. And once that's done, it will come up, congratulations, you've completed Lost Her Marbles mini quest. You've um, unlocked improved loot from pickpocketing NPCs up to level 40 thieving. You'll now have access to Dodgy Derek's Dirty Deal store run by Dodgy Derek and access to wall safes inside the guild. The guild will also expand with seven wall rooms and NPCs. You would have got 5,000 thieving experience um, from this initial reward, and you also would have got 4,800 thieving experience from turning in the flame fragments. Also, two treasure and the keys and two hearts of ice. And obviously, like I was saying before, as you hand over the flame fragments, Robin will give you various rewards, which are noted uh, versions of maple logs, lobsters, swordfish, and runes, and the amounts are randomised. Um, but currently, the total monetary value from uh, Robin are in the range of 99,000 and 107,000. So you should get at least 100k of rewards from him from doing that. So yeah, overall, a pretty easy caper. Uh, the only thing that might frustrate you a bit with this is if you have got a low thieving level, like the minimum thieving level required to do this, and you obviously haven't got access to any of those um, clothing or equipment that will help with pickpocketing, it may take you a while to get all the flame fragments. Uh, like I said though, there's no other really quick way of doing it. I would just recommend the order that I've done it in, um, in order to obtain the uh, 32 flame fragments in the quickest way. Like I said, if it does seem to be taking a while to steal from one particular NPC, don't worry, you're not doing anything particularly wrong, uh, it literally is just down to luck. So just keep doing it until you've obtained six flame fragments from each group, until obviously you get to the last group where you only need two. And obviously now we've completed this caper, once you have the requirements you'll be able to complete the third and final caper to have full access to the Thieves Guild and further rewards. But yeah, I don't think you'll run into your problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.